So we're going to do the left reverse now. I'm going to use the road in front. On your part two, the examiner will ask you to pull over on the left just before the junction. He will then ask you uh, to pull up just past the junction, prepare the car and reverse into the opening on the left a safe distance and try and keep relatively close to the curb. So I'm going to prepare my car, looking around before I select the gear just to make sure I am going to be able to move off. I'm also going to put my windows down so I can hear any approaching vehicles. I've got a vehicle coming in front of me at the moment so I'm going to let him pass. So now I'm ready, I'm just looking around the car, checking my mirrors, looking over my right blind spot. I'm going to move slowly away. As I pass the road, I'm going to look into it to see that it's safe to carry out the move. I'm going to look at the curve as well and I'm checking my mirrors before I pull up on the left. Considering the signal of anybody's around, there's nobody around at this moment in time. And I'm going to stop a drain's width from the curve and roughly two to three car lengths from the junction so I can still see the junction behind me in my rear view window through the rear view mirror. So, just altering the seating position a little bit, popping the car into reverse gear. At this point, I'm going to look through my back and I'm going to pick up where the white line or the curve comes into the back window, which is roughly where my wiper starts. So checking all the way around, and I'm going to go slowly back, not going too fast, making sure I've maintained that same distance from the curve throughout the manoeuvre. You'll notice that I'm continually scanning around as I go back slowly. I'm going back to my point to steer, which is where my back wheel is just next to the last curve stone, which is there. Now you don't have to stop the car at this point, and I'm going to put three quarters of a steer on for this one. I start my manoeuvre, you notice I looked around beforehand, checking as I go back, just following the curb neatly round, keeping a drain's whip, continuing to look around as I go around the corner, keep checking my position, making sure I keep it nice and close to the curb, coming round nicely. Now as I'm two thirds of the way around, I'm now looking for that curb to come back on to the point where I've got to straighten the wheels. I'm straighten the wheels, looking back towards the back of the car. So just carrying back into the road a safe distance. You've got to go three to four car lengths back. The reason being, you want to make sure that people can turn into the road. And the easier way to, to judge this, and what I always tell my learners and part two PDIs, make sure that you can see three clear hazard lines in front of you. Most junctions have five hazard lines that come back. Make sure you can see three and a little bit of uh, the road behind the third one and that puts you about three to four car lengths back into the new road. 